disappearance of David Hartley nearly two years ago. You remember the story, his wife Tiffany, who escaped, had said Hartley was killed by drug smugglers, but his body was never found in Falcon. The couple had jet skied to a historic church partially submerged on the Mexican side. Last fall, Zeta cartel members were attacked by the Mexican military there. The night team's Jesse DeGriano reports on what has changed since then. They're in boats that go really fast to where they wait for Falcon Lake's monster bass. Around here, if it, it's not hard even worth taking a picture of anything unless it's at least 10 pounds. It's rated the no, number one in the U.S. with well, Lake Falcon. By Bassmaster Magazine, James Bendeley says his was like snagging a semi. Getting a hold of a truck in the middle of a brush pile and trying to pull them out of there. The bigger fish, they're tough. You don't have them, they've got you the first few seconds. It's so rough. It really is, because they're so powerful. Powerful enough to lure fishermen back to Falcon, with few of any concerns for their safety. My, I, you know, my, my buddies here, they, yeah, they're a little skeptical. It seems fine. I guess nothing's happened here recently. Doesn't mean it couldn't happen again. But we don't go too far into Mexico. We, we stay right at the river. They say the fishing is just as good on the U.S. side. All go. No monsters. But they got to be a little ones before you tell. Even little big mouth bass have an attitude. They're born predators that lie in wait amid branches and rocks. When the water level is high enough, I'm told that the ruins of these old houses make for great fishing. And no matter the size, it's always catch and release. We've got no problems with him. He'll live there. Falcon Lake, Jesse Del Yellow, is at 12 news. And although big mouth bass can be found elsewhere, Falcon Lake veterans say it's more waters year round.